The martial arts film poses a set of problems for directors. How do you film the combats? How do you make them exciting? And how do you get a kind of arc so that the last one or two are the most exciting? One of the most striking things about San Shiro is the way in which Kurosawa solves these problems and comes up with some very unusual stylistic devices for rendering the force of combat. There's the staging of the fights in a wide range of circumstances, daylight, darkness, tournament hall, open field of pompous grass. There's the way in which he uses stillness. It's remarkable for a film of this period to have so much slow motion in the rendition of the pauses at high points of the fight. All those techniques I think are really important, but in a way, editing is his virtuoso move in this film. When it comes to editing, Kurosawa could draw on a pretty extensive tradition. Japanese filmmakers had already mastered the techniques of continuity editing from the West, things like shot reverse shot, analytical cuts from long shot, medium shot to close up, matching eye lines and movements across shots. All these things had become second nature to Japanese filmmakers by the time Kurosawa started his career. But what's fascinating, I think, about his work is that in Sanjiro, he really extends those techniques. He pushes them farther in ways that are very creative. Mm -hmm. 